Hello and welcome back to World 360. The death of British monarch Queen Elizabeth II has revived a major debate about decolonization in the British Commonwealth. As we know, the British Empire was composed of several dominions and colonies, but after its fall, the British Commonwealth was formed, a voluntary association of 56 member states, the majority of which were once territories of the British Empire. The Commonwealth consists of countries like India, Canada, Australia, Jamaica and Pakistan, which preside over a total of 2.5 billion people. But the debate we are seeing appears to be happening among a section of the British Commonwealth known as the Commonwealth Realm. The Commonwealth Realm refers to the 15 countries that recognize the British monarch as their head of state. These include the UK, Antigua and Barbuda, Australia, the Bahamas, Belize, Canada, Grenada, Jamaica, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Solomon Islands and Tuvalu. In most of these countries, the British monarch's position as head of state is stated in constitutions and even in some laws. The Queen's face also features in some coins and banknotes in certain countries. But now that the late Queen's son, King Charles III, has become the new monarch, Many in the Commonwealth realm are considering holding referendums on whether to keep him as the head of state or become full-fledged republics. Elizabeth Braw, a senior fellow at the American Enterprise Institute with a specialty in the UK, told Politico that these countries have retained or rather did retain Queen Elizabeth as the head of state because many of them felt a sense of loyalty towards her. But that is subject to change with now her eldest son in charge. The reason why so many countries have remained within the group is that they didn't want to offend her. Countries have stayed on, remained with the status of having her as head of state much longer than they would have because they felt so much loyalty to her personally, said Bro. Countries like Canada, Australia and New Zealand appear ready to extend that loyalty to King Charles III. Shortly after the Queen's death, Canadian PM Justin Trudeau affirmed that King Charles will remain the head of state in Canada. Australia and New Zealand made similar proclamations and carried out certain formalities like a 21-gun salute. However, for some countries in the Commonwealth realm, this is an opportunity to distance themselves from their British monarchical past once and for all. These include Antigua and Barbuda, Jamaica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Belize and a few others as well. On Sunday, the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, a small island country in the Caribbean, said he will call for a referendum on the country becoming a republic within three years. But keep in mind that such a vote would not intend to remove Antigua and Barbuda as a member of the Commonwealth as a whole, but simply remove the British monarch as the head of state. Now, we saw this with another Caribbean country, Barbados, which officially became a republic in November 2021 by removing the late queen as its head of state and replacing her with a president-elect. King Charles III, or Prince Charles at the time, had attended the ceremony in Barbados where he acknowledged the appalling atrocity of slavery the Caribbean island had suffered. Earlier in March this year, when Prince William and his wife Kate visited Jamaica, Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness had told William that the nation was moving on as an independent country. The questions being raised among the Commonwealth realm is a reflection of how the Queen's legacy is a complicated one. As Moses Ochanu, a professor of African studies at Vanderbilt University, told NPR, Queen Elizabeth was both the face of colonialism and also a symbol of decolonization given that more than 20 countries gained independence during her rule. Thank you so much for watching. This is Pia Kushankuti for The Print. Do subscribe to The Print Orin and follow us on social media.